namaste and welcome in the series of cyber security this side is meena today i will discuss about how are hackers using malicious mobile device management for advanced mobile attacks nowadays we are using mobile devices whether that's our smartphone or tablets or the other mobile devices and these are uh, these devices exponentially increasing over the time and from last few years it just increased with a very very rapid pace and nowadays companies enterprises are more liberal for the devices uh, uh, if the, the employees want to bring uh, their personal devices like mobile mobile phone smartphone they are using and with those devices they can access the enterprise network and the resources uh, uh, what they are having okay and if uh, just think for a moment if uh, a device which is having some malicious code malicious program or software inside it and if that can get connected over the network it can damage lot many machines uh it can damage the data and the network of a company okay so to manage all those devices it's really a big concern and for the security point of view it's really really very important okay and different vendors when why it's important to manage all these devices different vendors are uh, offering these mobile devices and uh, over the different products offered by vendor having operating system separate operating system for example for tablet they can have separate operating system for mobile they can have separate operating system and for the other device they can have and number of applications are available for different different tasks clear so just let's uh, assume a scenario where uh, uh, for example a vendor is uh, providing five different products in the mobile category and uh, over those mobile category they are using os different os okay for example five products five os for them and on an average just i'm taking uh, for 200 apps but uh, millions of, of apps are available clear so uh, just think for a moment if a company is having employee 10000 employee and if admin need to manage and even a single employee if we, they are using uh, just take an average for example say three mobile devices they are using and those devices uh, are using different operating system and number of applications are they using and if administrator need to maintain all these things really this will be a great great headache for him to manage such a big um, we can say network of those devices and those applications in at that point mobile device management comes in the picture okay so what it can do okay just let's have a quick look on it over the mobile device management it just give control over the operating system level okay so centrally at central location we can say administrator manage the devices which are coming under the mdm okay who joined the mdm and whatever they want to configure first of all uh, they will send a ta uh, text to get enrolled on on the mdm and once they will get enrolled whatever the profile they have set it for uh, the uh, corporate uh, access or for corporate network or what uh, email addresses they are going to use which applications they have to use sometime uh, companies are having their in house applications uh, 
for specific jobs uh, performing for specific jobs like uh, uh, sales or some other kind of uh, application they can have clear so uh, if they want to s set some uh, kind of setting which applications a particular employee can have from particular department and what uh, the uh, OS they are having, which applications they are having, what the serial number of the devices, what hardware they are using. If they want to uh, detect, they can also detect. Clear. Other thing they can uh, provide the security because our, when we are connected over the internet, we are accessing multiple networks, whether that's a cloud, whether it's a web servers or other kind of services we are using. And different applications we are using. Clear. So just to restrict which applications they are, are have they just have to use or which applications they need not to uh, access or they don't want to give the access they want to restrict it they can also uh, perform or if before giving access uh, uh, over the enterprise network they want to check whether that's uh, uh, fulfilling the requirement of this related to the security they can also perform those things clear and if they want to offer some services uh, for support to their employee or their users they can also control centrally remotely from one location whatever the devices enrolled for the particular profile they can control it remotely okay and it's really very very easy to control okay because uh, profiling has been done and they will change over there all the devices records are there they can perform it in a wonderful way okay so let's have a look on uh, the ibm mass 360 MDM solutions. So you can see here the profiling has been done on the base of uh, like uh, Apple devices, Android, or uh, some Windows Blackberry or some uh, Windows mobile devices. Okay, and uh, they are giving access to the specific applications that is uh, related to their corporate network which resources are there so they can also manage the content which they they can use the content of uh, the company okay and whatever the applications they are collaborated with the um, the man, uh, services managed by the cloud uh, on the cloud uh, with the help of the mdm okay and uh, which they want to control they can also give the control here okay for example a employee new employee joined in a company and they want to use their uh, uh, mobile devices to access the enterprise network and uh, administrator will send a text to um, have act first they need to enroll under the mdm and uh, once they will accept it because the user intervention required for the enrollment okay so once they get enrolled administrator will send um, a, like a, a link to for the applications just download it and uh, then they will uh, forward the profile that's related to their job role okay so over there uh, on that particular profile administrator will set this employee belongs to the particular department and they are having uh, this department is having uh, uh, access on the particular application and they are having uh, access on the this part of the network and what rights they are having to access okay so uh, after the enrollment administrator will send uh, the, the employee profile that's suited to uh, uh, the newly joined employee and uh, they can also separate the profile from the personal uh, personal profile of uh, the user so so that once they will connected 
the total configuration on their uh, mobile devices will be different okay so uh, in this way administrator can manage it and if some new applications uh, uh, for example uh, came in the market and uh, they want to introduce or they want to uh, they their employee can download it so administrators just need no uh, need to save on the mdm server and all of them will get the link of uh, the newly uh, application that came in the market okay so i will show you one of uh, the inside example of uh, mdm solution by ibm so you can see here it just showing you the devices in uh, outside geofence it's 22 devices and uh, 26 devices uh, uh, for uh, the ios devices are 8 okay and uh, the devices which are coming under the category of the bring your own devices byod or the personal devices uh, 37 devices it's detected so separate separate setting for all these devices and once the user will join uh, for under under the, those profile they will get the setting which is set by the administrator for the specific uh, profile clear if any employee will leave the company and uh, they will just remove the profile from their uh, device and uh, again they can use their devices uh, before that what it was uh, um, it be the part of the MDM okay in case if the employee will uh, lost their uh, mobile phone and they are uh, the mobile phone is having uh, some critical data and they are connected with the, the uh, enterprise network administrator just can wipe up the data data and can uh, uh, reset it on the factory uh, original factory settings okay so they, in this way it is just really very wonderful way they can uh, control the things okay now i will present in front of you how the attackers can use the similar things for attacking on your mobile devices okay so here in this picture you can see hacker uh, establish a mdm server where uh, uh, they send the request to get enrolled under uh, the IBM MD, uh, malicious MBM server. So here is after the enrollment, again the uh, attacker will send some malicious or infected um, apps which give control over the uh, mobile devices of uh, victim and whatever the information they want to extract whether the contacts number whether the photos videos microphone settings they want to set each and everything they can control and whatever the information they will get they can send it to the command and control server from over their uh, uh, hackers can extract okay so uh, let's see one by one step and how the hackers are doing all these things first of all uh, after the enrollment for example uh, they will establish their uh, mdm server in a way that will look like the legitimate server of uh, the vendors uh, vendors clear so just you can see here that server just look like ios uh, certificate update.com so that's like it look like uh, it is the server established by the apple and once the users gets uh, get trapped into this uh, activity and get enrolled over this mdm server then they will send some configuration profile so that's uh, uh, ask them to just allow and uh, get that uh, settings done on your device okay and once the victim will click on allow 
okay they will send the sir some certificates and after receiving the certificates they can also send some more updates which just related to change the settings but it just front and it will look like it's that those are just normal updates and uh, uh, we need to uh, allow them okay and uh, in the previous slide you can see here the certificate was not verified and once they allow it the certificate is just showing it it's verified so the ios updates when they will think yes this is the ios update but those are not the ios update these are the some malicious things okay and the attackers can also send uh, because now your device under the control of the hackers they are controlling remotely through the mdm server and once they will get control over the devices because this is uh, like a, a jail broken attack and this attack can get control over the ios level your operating system level okay and they can change over the kernel so hacker can uninstall the legitimate apps and can push the app which are they are having on their malicious server and they can ask you to install it because this is uh, some updates or updated legitimate apps because being a normal user you will never come to know yes this is the malicious app and you are uh, uh, mobile devices has been hacked okay and what else are hackers can do they can also perform the task like uh, uh, they will define a list of uh, the websites where you will uh, if you will uh, enter your credentials username passwords and all the other information they have set it whatever they want to extract so when you will uh, enter your credential that and uh, they can exfiltrate it and can store on the command and control server okay so each and everything whatever you are doing on your mobile devices they can control okay and guys you can follow me on the cyber security prism so that you get you will get the notification from the facebook for the next live session and you can also join me on the group cyber security forever and over there you can have discuss you can share your thoughts your articles and in the next session i will discuss about how easy it is to hack human human what techniques hackers use to hack human okay do you want do you want to know okay see you in the next session namaste stay safe